laws of exponents multiplying. Mental math. Times tables. 12 times 4 equals 48. 7 times 6 equals 42. Addition. 95 plus 58 equals 153. Subtraction. 86 minus 18 equals 68. Division. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Square numbers. The square of 6 equals 36. Square root of 36 equals 6. The cube of 6 equals 216. And the cube root of 216 equals 6. Decimal addition. 1,2 plus 3,4 equals 4,6. Decimal subtraction. 26,1 minus 14,1 equals 12. Decimal multiplication. 0, 0,6 times 0, 0,004 equals 0, 0,0024. Decimal division. 0, 0,6 divided by 0, 0,2 equals 3. Multiply both of 10 to get whole numbers. Fraction addition. 2 over 3 plus 4 over 6 equals. Find the lowest common multiple. 4 over 6 plus 4 over 6 equals. 8 over 6 equals 1 and 2 over 6 equals 1 and 1 over 3. Fraction subtraction, 1 over 4 minus 1 over 8 equals, find the lowest common multiple, 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8 equals 1 over 8. Fraction multiplication, 7 over 8 times 3 over 4 equals, 7 times 3 equals 21, 8 times 4 equals 30. Fraction division, 7 over 8 divided by 3 over 4 equals 7 over 8. Change your division sign to multiplication sign and you multiply by 4 over 3. 28 over 24 equals to 1 and 1 over 6. Laws of exponent. 5 to the power of 2. The 2 refers to the exponent or the power and the 5 is my base. Rules. a to the power of m times a to the power of m. Our base is now a, which is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Let's look at an example. 2 to the power of 5, when we times it by 2 to the power of 3, it is equal to 2 to the power of 5 plus the 3, which is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Laws of exponents, remember the law, a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. Examples. Number 1. In brackets, negative 5 to the power of 2 times, in brackets, negative 5 to the power of 3, the base is the same, negative 5, and it equals to negative 5 to the power of 2 plus 3 equals in brackets, negative 5 to the power of 5. Number 2, we have negative 2y to the power of 2 times, in brackets, negative 3y to the power of 4. Close brackets. 2 times negative 3 is 6 because it's negative 2 times negative 3. y to the power of 2 plus 4 equals 6y to the power of 6. You first multiply your signs. Minus times minus equals plus. Then multiply the coefficients. 2 times 3 equals 6. Then you multiply the exponents. But you remember the rule. You plus your exponents. More examples. 2x to the power of 2. y to the power of 3. Times negative 4. x to the power of 2. 
y to the power of 2. First multiply signs, a positive times a negative equals a negative, 2 times 4 equals 8, x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2 equals x to the power of 4, and y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 2 equals y to the power of 5. Number 4, negative 2, y to the power of 2, times, in brackets, negative 3, y to the power of 4, close brackets. The answer is equal to 6y to the power of 6. And this is how we have calculated. A negative times a negative is equal to a positive. 2 times 3 equals 6. And y to the power of 2 times y to the power of 4 equals y to the power of 6. Laws of exponents. More examples, including fractions. 1 over 2x to the power of 2, y to the power of 3, times 2 over 3, x to the power of 3, y to the power of 4. First multiply the signs. Plus times a plus equals a plus. Then we multiply the fractions. A half times 2 over 3 equals to 2 over 6 equals to 1 over 3. Then we multiply the exponents. x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 3 equals x to the power of 2 plus 3 equals x to the power of 5. And finally the last exponent y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 4 equals y to the power of 3 plus 4 equals y to the power of 7. And there we have our answer. And we simplify 1 over 3, x to the power of 5, y to the power of 7.